Hi, I'm Garvin. Welcome to our telehealth video series. In this video, I'll give a brief overview of what you need to know about urinary incontinence. In particular, we'll cover what it is, how you treat urinary incontinence, and how you can better live with urinary incontinence. So we start with what is it? Urinary incontinence is the loss of bladder control and is a common and often embarrassing problem. The severity of urinary incontinence ranges from occasionally leaking urine when you cough or sneeze to having an urge to urinate that's so sudden and so strong you don't get to the toilet in time. Urinary incontinence is the inability to control the release of urine from your bladder. Some people experience occasional minor leaks or dribbles of urine. Others wet their clothes frequently. So the types of urinary incontinence include stress incontinence. This is loss of urine when you exert pressure, stress on your bladder by coughing, sneezing, laughing, exercising or lifting something heavy. Stress incontinence occurs when the sphincter muscle of the bladder is weakened. In women, physical changes resulting from pregnancy, childbirth and menopause can cause stress incontinence. In men, removal of the prostate gland can lead to this type of incontinence. Urge incontinence. So this is a sudden, intense urge to urinate, followed by an involuntary loss of urine. Your bladder muscle contracts and may give you a warning of only a few seconds to a minute to reach the toilet. With urge incontinence, you may need to urinate often, including throughout the night. Urge incontinence may be caused by urinary tract infections, bladder irritants, bowel problems, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, stroke, injury or nervous system damage associated with multiple sclerosis. So if there's no known cause, urge incontinence is also called overactive bladder and overflow incontinence. If you frequently or constantly dribble urine, you may have overflow incontinence, which is an inability to empty your bladder. Sometimes you may feel as if you never completely empty your bladder. When you try to urinate, you may produce only a weak stream of urine. Mixed incontinence. So if you experience symptoms of more than one type of urinary incontinence, such as stress incontinence and urge incontinence, you have mixed incontinence and functional incontinence. Many older adults, especially people in nursing homes, experience incontinence simply because a physical or mental impairment keeps them from making it to the toilet on time. And gross total incontinence. This term is sometimes used to describe continuous leaking of urine day and night or the periodic uncontrollable leaking of large volumes of urine. In such cases, the bladder has no storage capacity. Urinary incontinence isn't a disease, it's a symptom. It can be caused by everyday habits, underlying medical conditions or physical problems. Causes of temporary urinary incontinence, so with certain foods, drinks and medications can cause temporary urinary incontinence. A simple change in habits can bring relief. So alcohol, alcohol acts as a bladder stimulant and a diuretic, which can cause an urgent need to urinate. Overhydration, taking in a lot of fluids, especially in a short period of time, increases the amount of urine your bladder has to deal with. And dehydration, if you don't consume enough liquid to stay hydrated, your urine can occasionally become very concentrated. <clears throat> and caffeine, caffeine is also a diuretic and a bladder stimulant that can cause a sudden need to urinate. Bladder irritation, so carbonated drinks, tea and coffee, artificial sweeteners can aggravate your bladder. And medications, so heart medications, blood pressure drugs and sedatives can also be a cause. And next is how do you treat urinary incontinence? So often medications are used in conjunction with behavioural techniques. Drugs commonly used to treat incontinence include Anticholinergics. These prescription medicines calm an overactive bladder, so they may be helpful for urge incontinence. Several drugs fall under this category, including oxybutynin and tolterodine, which is detrucetol. Typical or topical estrogen. So applying low dose topical estrogen in the, the form of a vaginal cream ring or patch may help tone and rejuvenate tissues in the urethra and vaginal areas. 
This may reduce some of the symptoms of incontinence. Imipramine. So imipramine or tofranil is a tricyclic antidepressant that may be used to treat mixed urge and stress incontinence and medical devices. Several medical devices are available to help treat incontinence. They're designed specifically for women and include urethral inserts, pessaries, interventional therapies, radiofrequency therapy and botulinum toxin type A, bulking material injections, sacral nerve stimulator and surgery. If other treatments aren't working, some of the more common procedures include artificial urinary sphincter, sling procedures, bladder neck suspension. And finally, how do you live with urinary incontinence? Problems with urinary leakage may require you to take extra care to prevent skin irritation. You may need to use washcloth to clean and dry yourself. Products such as powders, moisturizers and deodorizing tablets can help you feel clean and eliminate urine odor. Your body has natural defenses against bladder infections. Washing too frequently or douching can defeat these deficiencies. It's better to aim for keeping your skin clean and dry. If you have urge incontinence or nighttime incontinence, move any rugs or furniture you might trip over or collide with on the way to the toilet. Use a night light to illuminate your path and reduce your risk of falling. If you have functional incontinence at home, a or bathroom renovation project may help. Possible changes may include adding a bathroom in a more convenient location, widening an existing bathroom doorway, installing an elevated toilet seat, or simply adding a few well-placed lights. You may also benefit from a bedpan. Finally, there are numerous products available at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas to assist you in managing urinary incontinence effectively on a day-to-day -day basis. We start with numerous products to get if you want to do mild exercises. So we have floor mats and the likes like that. We also have various supplements and products which you can purchase from us without prescription, such as a pedometer, there's body fat monitors, <coughs> excuse me, and we have TENS machines, absorbent pads, protective garments and catheters. We also stock a range of light boxes to promote relaxation, blood pressure monitors and blood sugar monitors to monitor your health. So that brings this video to an end. Customers of Lynch's Pharmacy can avail of a new offering at Telehealth Clinic. So you can book a 30 minute clinic with us and we help to increase your understanding of your illness. During a telehealth clinic together, we create a cohesive management plan, which enables you to take a more active role in managing urinary incontinence with confidence. We provide you with the tools you need to live a healthy life. Call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork or call 021 436 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.